Hi, Michael Rand from the Star Tribune. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, when you were, you know, considering you know, your future and your playing, what what was the conversation initially like with with Cheryl, and and what what made this the right fit for you? Um, you know, I think just moving forward from this injury and going into a place where I, you know the facilities were great, especially when I'm coming back from this knee injury, and just being in a position to be in a place where. There's the experience level is high, you know. I'm getting to the point where it might be counting down the clock, and just being in a place where I know they're proven success and um, around great players, and that was definitely the 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 point of emphasis and why I ended up here. Hi, Katie Davidson from the Athletic. Um, last night, you didn't play in the scrimmage against uh, China's national team, mm -hmm. but what did you see on the court that you um, that encouraged you about the upcoming season? Um, I mean, I think our, our defensive intensity definitely picked up in the second half. It's something we were focusing on the last couple of days in practice. And just being able to hold them under 40% um, of their field goal percentage is something that we really focused on and being able to get that down in the second half. Um, and just everybody playing together. You know, we, we have a good flow. You can see our chemistry is coming together. There's a, a few mishaps, but, of course, that's going to happen during training camp. But I'm just, you know, proud of this team and seeing the growth that we've had in such a short amount of time. Um, just follow up to that. You, um, your first preseason game against the Mystics, you guys won. Obviously, last night's game was pretty one-sided. Um, what will you be looking for going forward um, in games that are more challenging mm -hmm. or where you guys are facing adversity? Yeah. Um, what are you going to be looking for? Um, our, our transition defense, yeah. We kind of struggle with that. Even in the game yesterday, there are some moments where we weren't locked in, and I think that's something going forward you have to be able to do in this league if you want to be successful, make the playoffs, and push forward from there. So just focusing on the little things and playing off of each other and having the, the right communication. Hi, right, Pat Borsi with ESPNW. Um, Simone was mentioning a little earlier that some of the rookies were heads were kind of spinning as uh, Cheryl was putting in all these different plays and stuff. What was it like for uh, someone who's been in the league a while to, mm -hmm. to try to learn all this? Um, I mean, it's still you're still your head spinning too, especially if you're coming in as a new player. It's a lot of different sets and. As long as you're able to kind of see what we're trying to get out of the play, I think that's what she she harps on a lot. And as you read into it more and you see, you know, where the mismatches will be, I think that will help us get through the plays a little bit more. But it definitely is a learning curve. So I know I my sentiments go with the uh, the rookies because I'm still over here like, are we putting in some more today? Or, <laughs> but it's it's been good, you know, because it's a new system. So everybody's just trying to do the best we can, and hopefully we can talk each other through it. Yeah, Cheryl has, has mentioned that with several players, she's asked them to shoot more, particularly shoot threes. What has she asked you to do specifically? Um, that as well, and just bring you know the same type of energy that I've been doing um, before getting injured, and I think that's something that I'm focused on a little bit more, just kind of getting back into the groove of things. You know, when you're coming back from an injury, you don't trust yourself as much, but you can you you are able to do the same thing. So I think just going into these next couple games and getting more comfortable is something that I really want to focus on. Um, you'll be playing kind of a lot of the minutes that Maya Moore played for this team for a long time in that similar position. Is that important, I guess, or to, to remember uh, that you're not exactly replacing her or not trying to do mm -hmm. too much or yeah. try to duplicate what she did and, and kind of stay within yourself? Yeah. I mean, you know, Maya Moore is a great player. I'm just coming in here to be the best Kareem of Christmas Kelly I can be. Um, I'm not trying to just be a replica of her. I'm just trying to bring my energy and hopefully help my teammates in the same way I've helped my teammates in the past. Uh, hey, Kareem, uh, uh, Eric Beck, WNBA Insider. What have you uh, learned about the Lynx uh, being part of the organization that you, maybe you didn't uh, know watching from afar? Um, I don't know. You know, I think watching them from afar, you've always seen that level of chemistry and how everybody's locked in on the same page. And I think with the leaders that we have in Sill and Simone and D-Rob being here for a couple of years as well, it just... It helps us a lot in the transition, you know, because it's different. You're, everywhere you come from, it's a different system. But I think just seeing why they are a proven, you know, successful team in this league and the steps that they take to get to that point, is, it's very interesting to me. And just being able to be a part of that, I'm really grateful for.